Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, if you've been picking locks for a while, you probably know what these are. These are core followers. These are followers for disassembling locks and disassembling and reassembling, pinning uh, progressively or otherwise up locks is a major part of lock picking, lock sport, whatever you want to call it. Now, having these hollow or even solid followers are really, really good. It's nice to carry these uh, around in a kit or have them uh, on your bench ready for disassembly, but they're not the most compact of things to carry around. One solution is to either buy or make a set of concentric followers. This is one I made out of, would you believe, a selfie stick. Um, but whilst I like this, it was a little bit overcomplicated, a little bit wasteful to make, and I don't like the style of this. So I had a look online to see, is there anything else which is pretty cheap? I'm looking for, you know, around that five pounds, less than that kind of mark, uh, which would be about, you know, $6 or so. And I found this. Some of you may already know what this is. Um, I didn't know they existed until I got one. No, it's not an aerial, it's not some kind of uh, baton. It is, um, well, it's, it's a pipe for literally just blowing air down at a fire. So you might have lit a uh, small fire using um, some fire lighters, a spark, whatever. And this is just to make sure you can direct a flow of steady air and, and probably just keep all the smoke out of your face while you're doing it. Uh, that is it. I got this for under five pounds uh, on Amazon. I think I got this or was it eBay, probably Amazon. And yeah, I thought to myself, would this make a good set of followers? The two main sizes I'm looking for are going to be about 12 millimeters, preferably 12 and a half, half an inch. That will get you into things like uh, Euro cylinders, uh, rim cylinders, key and knobs, those kind of things. So that's, that's that one there. Now I've got my calipers and I believe that this comes in. Let's turn it on, zero it up. just under half an inch or uh, about 12 millimeters. Now that is good enough. That is good enough. It's a little bit loose, but it's good enough for these and we'll, hopefully I can demo that later. Now, the other thing is there has to be a at least a 10 in here as well, 10 millimeters. 10 millimeters is the, so that's nine. And this one is 9.92, that's perfect. So 9.92 is actually perfect for um, another concentric follower. So you're going to have your 12 and your 10 in here. And you think, well, what about all these other ones here? Isn't that a waste? And you, oh, sorry, I forgot to say the 10 millimeters are for padlocks like this, the repinnable ones. Um, you might think, well, what about the rest of this? Well, some of these smaller ones I might not include. This won't be wasted. I've got other projects to use this tubing for. It's very thin tubing, hard to come by otherwise. Um, and I believe this is stainless as well. So it's, it's actually quite solid stuff. So I'm gonna keep those. But what about all the rest of this? Well, sometimes, just sometimes, you get locks like this turning up, which just have completely uh, different size uh, cores. They, they don't take standard followers. And if you were to try to gut these uh, <laughs> and have a look what's inside, you, you may be just stuck and have to resort to, I know, rolled up pieces of paper, maybe some empty pen tubes, that kind of thing. But having a nice concentric set of followers really, really, really helps. Right, let me just uh, do a quick demonstration of the 12 and a half and 10 mil followers, just a normal standard ones. Then I'll go away and show how I'm going to cut this up into a set of nice concentric followers.
and here we are. So all I've done really is given a bit of a file and taken off the um, sharp edges so that they they're not sharp anymore. You don't want to um, cut yourself on these. They they you know can be quite sharp if you're not careful. So we've got a whole little mini set of concentric followers there, looking pretty smart if you ask me. But do they work? Well, one way to find out. So yeah, should just be able to slide this out. Let's see how it works with the 10 millimeter ish one. And I'm going to use a shim just because especially this groove here for the circlip on the tailpiece is quite wide on this. Put that in there uh, and just gently push it out. And there you go. So there we are. These concentric followers are just so easy to make. They really are. If you've just got um, some kind of like cut off disc tool, uh, be careful if you're going to use something like a, um, a hacksaw that you don't compress this thin wall tubing too much and obviously take all safety precautions. Uh, I was wearing a mask and goggles at all times. One thing I, I would say is there are a range of these types of things, these camping bellows, blowpipe things, whatever you want to call them. Um, and it's always worth checking the dimensions when you buy them. I know that some of these, and this one didn't unfortunately, do come in the half inch size, which would be really, really the right size to get if you could get hold of it, but otherwise really simple. Now the thing is, is that these sort of rattle about and they, whilst they're concentric, don't take up too much space. This isn't a great way to sort of store them. Um, so one thing I found was one of these, which is a sort of a toothpick holder. And by toothpick, I don't mean wooden ones so that they would probably fit. Uh, these come, you can buy these for a couple of pounds and they come with these, these incredibly spiky looking tools, which I, Honestly, wouldn't feel comfortable putting in my mouth, but that's, uh, that's you know, I'm sure if you use them with care, they'd be fine. But these, again, check out the dimensions of these, but some of them have um, a, an inner diameter and size, which fit these absolutely perfectly and just keep them really, really enclosed. And not only that, because it's enclosed, you can put in a whole bunch of shims as well, and they're not gonna get lost. So you have a really nice, compact design with all your shims, all of your concentric followers, all in a nice little package, which doesn't take up too much more space than one of the super large followers for uh, Scandinavian ovals. And if anybody knows of one of these, which can take, uh, <laughs> there is a, a container which can take a, um, uh, a 12 millimeter uh, outer diameter, uh, internally, if that makes sense, but is, 14 millimeters, which is ideal on the outside, that would be incredible because that would actually be useful as a follower for Scandi Ovals themselves. I could not find them at all, but uh, altogether, this this whole setup, uh, depending on how you buy it and how long you're willing to wait, could cost under about five pounds, six dollars, something like that, depending on what you buy and, and where from and how long you're willing to wait for it to all arrive. Uh, would I recommend doing this over a selfie stick? I think the selfie stick gives you more diameters. Uh, it's a bit harder to work with, uh, but you can pick them up in um, dollar stores or pound shops. Um, so I think these camping bellows are probably a little easier to work with, um, but not necessarily going to save you money. But nevertheless, I just I, I just like messing around with stuff which I see and go, oh, I wonder if I can. And yes, you can make um, uh, concentric plug followers from... Uh, 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 camping supplies, which is really cool. Anyway, hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you've got comments about this, leave one below. Um, if you uh, have any other materials like this that you personally use, which you think are better, let me know. Maybe I'll try those out as well. I'll read all the comments, reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.